Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day here in North Alabama. I am going out to my studio because I'm starting on a seascape painting. So I'm coming out here to see if I have everything that I need. It's still a bit windy. So let's just go on inside. I've been booking some parties this morning. So hopefully, Hopefully I'll be pretty busy out here in the next couple of months. I already have the place set up for my upcoming party that I'm having actually this Friday. But I came out here to ooh, turn some heat on. It's pretty cold out here. I have a big canvas here. There's nothing like a stark white canvas staring back at you. And I printed off this beautiful picture it's a seascape and this is what I'm going to be painting so here we go this is what I'm going to be painting I'm doing this for myself it's not a commission and I want to hang it up right over there in the little sitting area maybe right there so yeah so here's some stuff that we've done in class angels let's we'll see little angels all of these are for sale if there's anything you see that you like. I always sell these demo pieces. So there's a little angel. And then we did these um, fancy ladies. <laughs> this would be cute in a, like a, a bathroom, I think. We did some beach pictures. There's a mermaid. This was a Halloween painting and we did the snowman. And that's just something that I painted. But anyway, all of these paintings here are for sale if anybody wants one. So I just came out here to check and make sure that I have all the stuff I need and I don't. So I'm gonna have to go up to my other studio and bring some things down here. I'm actually gonna paint out here. I haven't painted out here in a while and I'm excited because it's not freezing. I'm sure we'll probably have some more cold snaps. I am just so over winter you guys i can't even stand it i'm gonna turn the heat on and then i'll come out here in about 30 minutes i think i'll go in and make a protein shake and then come out here in a little bit all right heat's on all right you guys i haven't done a vlog in a while and i still have to i need to draw out kind of do a, um, a rough sketch of the painting before I can start painting. And I'll probably just show it to you in increments. Increments. <gasps> anyway, I hope you guys all had a lovely Valentine's. We definitely did. Keith got me this beautiful, little tiny, dainty, I don't know if it's even picking up, but it's a David Yurman. It's a garnet. And it is his birthstone, and it's shaped like a heart. But it's very delicate and dainty, and that's exactly what I wanted. He said, that is too tiny. But I said, no, I love it. <laughs> so, but we had a wonderful um, Valentine's. I don't even know what I'm doing, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go in there and make a shake. It's the perfect day. All right, so I'm just making my shake. And I use that cachava and I will link it below it is one of the healthiest shakes that I've found there's like over 70 superfoods mixed inside the shake and I don't have the bag because it busted open and I have it in a baggie but I'll link it below you guys I've been drinking this for a while and I really enjoy it I don't eat breakfast during the week so here's my shake I make it very hearty it's like Sometimes I have to add a little bit more water, and I think I do. It makes me feel really good. It really does. It gives me so much energy. So during the week, I drink coffee in the morning, and I might have one cookie. I know that's weird, but I just like to have a little crunch in the morning. And then I don't eat again. Like right now, it's 12, 12. Until 12 to 1. And then normally, I have a shake. I mixed almond milk in this one, almond butter, and a half a frozen banana. Now, you don't have to mix anything in it but I just like the taste. 
I don't normally eat when I'm by myself. You know, some people, they eat when they're depressed or they're alone or lonely. I'm not like that. I just don't eat. And Keith is gone all day and I'm normally here by myself unless my mom, my sister, my daughter, or somebody like that comes by. I'm still drinking my water too. But anyway, I just don't eat. Eating for me is a social thing. That's just how I've always been. <laughs> Let's go in here and sit down. But I do like this because it really does give me energy and it really makes me feel good. So that's a lot of shake right there. So I'm just sitting in my dining room. I like to sit here and just look outside. We have a lot of runners in this neighborhood. Keith being one of them. The only way I would ever run is if a grizzly bear were chasing after me. <laughs> or I might chase after a taco truck or something. No running for me. I'm trying to get back into working out. I still haven't shown you guys our gym. But I have been working out a little bit. I'm trying to get better at it. But I'll show you guys the gym soon. But I just wanted to revisit the conversation about the Birkin because we've had quite a few people do the tag. Thank you to everyone who did it and watched the video. I mean, I just wanted to say that it is a subjective topic because, you know, everybody has different opinions. Everybody has different opinions about it. For me, it's a status symbol. I never said that it means you're wealthy. It means that you think you're above someone who doesn't have one or anything like that because I don't feel that way. And for me, the Birkin was not influenced. I was not influenced to get a Birkin because I have a YouTube channel. It's just something that I've wanted for a really long time. When I was much younger, almost 20 years ago, I. I just, I don't know how I ever knew about it. I just knew about it somehow. And I always thought it was a really cool bag and I always wanted one. And I found mine at a really good price and I could have already made $3,500 on it actually. But I just don't wanna sell it because it means a lot to me. Do I think that I'm better than someone who doesn't have a Birkin? Do I think that I'm elite? No, I don't because you know what? <laughs> Nobody really knows what it is. I mean, in my family, the only person that knows what my bag is was my daughter. I've had it around my sister several times. She never said a word. I never said a word. My mom has seen it. She's been around it. She never said a word. And, you know, it's a very pricey bag, but to me, it is a status symbol, but only to me. I don't really care what the rest of the world thinks about it because I, I wanted it for so long and it means something to me. I don't mean status as in, you know, people in my community saying, oh look, she's probably the only person in this little small town who has a Birkin because people in my town don't carry Birkins, okay? I mean, I rarely see a coach bag. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm a handbag lover and it means a lot to me. So it's a status symbol in my mind, okay? To me, personally. I, I just, you know, it's like people who are into diamonds. I'm not really into diamonds, okay? But um, I have a nice wedding set, but I'm not into diamonds. I don't want to upgrade my original engagement ring to a bigger one like Shay Whitney has twice already okay but maybe she's into diamonds and I'm just using her as an example I'm not into diamonds I don't know I'm just not I'm into handbags but I do think that it is insane to go through that Hermes journey it's just ridiculous it's belittling I would never do that will I ever get another Birkin I've told you guys I don't know I really doubt it I really doubt it unless I found a great deal or something like that. I really doubt it because I'm not really a Birkin girl. I'm not, I'm just happy with what I have. <laughs> Am I making any sense? Because I said I've always wanted it and I'm not a Birkin girl, but I, I'm just happy with the one I have, okay? 
Do I think I'm better than somebody who doesn't have one? No, I don't. Do I even care if anybody knows what it is? No, I don't because I know what it is and I'm happy that I have it and I don't ever want to sell the one that I have. You know, you, you guys know me. I change my mind a lot, but I'm not a handbag seller. And all the years that I have been buying handbags, I haven't sold but a handful of handbags. One of them I regret. I sold my round coin purse. I don't know why and I regret that. But I just don't sell my handbags. I either give them to my daughter and she has several of my luxury handbags. Or my sister, I sold her my Burberry very, very, at a, like 200 bucks, okay? Practically gave it to her. But I just don't sell my handbags. But anyway, I just wanted to say that to me, if I see it because I'm a handbag lover, even a never full, okay? I notice. Like I was in Cracker Barrel eating the other day and a girl walked by with a Azure Neverfull MM and I looked at it and I watched her as she walked by because she had a Neverfull. <laughs> That's just how I am. If I see any kind of a luxury handbag, I notice it. I don't think she's better than somebody who doesn't have one. I don't think I'm better. I just, it's a status symbol to me because it means something to me and it means that I could finally afford this bag even though it's ridiculous to spend that kind of money on handbags, and I know it, okay? But handbags are the only, I don't know, you guys, this community. If you love handbags and you buy expensive handbags, people are gonna judge. And that bothers me. I mean, my son, we live in the South and people like their guns, okay? But he just hunts, okay? He's not out killing people. He just, he likes to hunt and target practice. He grew up doing that and he has so many guns and has spent so much money. And people who love diamonds or people who love expensive cars and they're always trading their car. I mean, I could get a new car, but I've been driving mine for almost, I'm on my fifth year. A Cadillac um, XTS, I think. But anyway, Keith asked me the other day, are you getting ready to uh, trade in your car? I said, no, I actually, it's very low mileage, I love it. I probably will drive it a couple more years which will put seven years on this car. I'm not really a car person, I just like a nice car. And I'll drive it for a long time. So, but with handbags, if you spend $3,000 on a handbag, people are gonna judge, especially if you spend upwards of 10,000. And I know, you guys, we all have our comfort zone, okay? $10,000 is not comfortable Comfortable for me. $5,000 is not comfortable. I, I will be honest, my comfort zone for a handbag is about $3,000. I can buy a bag at around $3,000, $3,500 and I don't feel bad. Anything over that, I feel bad myself, okay? And that's one reason why this year I'm not gonna be buying luxury handbags all year. I said I was gonna buy one I never said anything about walks. <laughs> it's a walk a handbag now. I really want a, a YSL walk in that beige color. But anyway, to me, the Birkin is a status symbol. To me, the Chanel Coco handle is a status symbol. To me, the Jumbo, the Neverfull, the Speedy, they're all status symbols to me. Okay, so I don't really care what anybody else thinks. And yes, I am that girl in a $20 dress carrying the Birkin, okay? And I don't have a problem with that. I like that. I mean, I today I have on a, leggings. Of course, I'm gonna paint, but I would go out like this. <laughs> I would. I totally go out like this all the time, I do. I mean, I like to glam up, but I also have no problems going out like this. And if my things were in my Birkin right now, and I had to go somewhere, I would go just like this, carrying a Birkin. I look like a hot mess Yota, but I would carry my Birkin if, if that were the bag of the day or the bag of the week or whatever. It's a, it's a status symbol to me because I feel like I've achieved it and I love it. Everybody has different opinions. You can wear anything you want with that Birkin. You don't have to be all dolled up and glammed up and wear expensive clothes. You can be like me.
and carry a Birkin. I have been thinking about that and I also think that I really don't ever see myself doing that again. Because I have to tell you guys, I, it was very difficult for me to push, enter, like to buy that. I bought it online with Jazz Zima. She's a reputable seller on Instagram and she's in the Hermes group. Very reputable. But it was very difficult for me to buy that bag. Now that I've had it for a while, I mean, I don't look at it and think, ooh, that was, you know, I'm glad I have it, but I just don't desire another one whatsoever. And if I ever, ever, ever got another one, it would be gold, it would be a 30 with gold hardware. And, and then I could honestly tell you, if I had that bag, I would never want another one. But I'd like to have about 20 Chanel bags. <laughs> love Chanel you guys I really do all right I'm gonna go drink my drink I just wanted to say that you guys I mean the Birkin is whatever you say it is what the Birkin you know if you have a Birkin it's whatever you say it is whatever you know I know that Hermes has history all around Hermes I love the Jane Birkin story because I really think Jane Birkin was a cool chick and that's why when Andrea and I did that video together I went that route she went more the Hermes history route which is wonderful because we didn't know what each other were going to talk about but i just find the whole story about jane birkin really cool i think she's cool and i think it's even cooler that she's only had four birkins i mean i really do i think that's so cool i mean i watch people like and i'm not cutting any youtuber at all lb lover cc i don't know how many birkins she has and, and more power to her right i guess she loves them but she has all kinds Mel in Melbourne. She has tons of Birkins and good, good for her. And that's what she wants. That's what she has and I'm happy for them. But for me, you know, I'm just happy with the one I have and if nobody ever recognizes it, I don't really care because I know what it is. I recognize it. So anyway, you guys, cheers. I'm going to go drink my drink and then I'll be back in a bit. I am loving my little necklace. I know it's tiny, but I just wanted something small that I could just wear all the time. And this is just so pretty and it just, I don't know, it means a lot to me because it's Keith's birthstone. I just, I love it, you guys. He was so sweet because he totally surprised me with it, but he was very disappointed. He was like, that thing is tiny. You can't even tell what it is, but you can. It has a really pretty shimmer. I, I just, I like it. Um, I'm. I like it a lot. I don't normally get Valentine's gifts, so I was I was excited. But anyway, you guys, this is just such a boring day. I, I've got nothing. I mean, I could go upstairs and I need to do the comparison with my Brandon Blackwood bag and my Prada bag and show you guys the difference. There's some subtle differences, not much, but I, I do love that bag. I carried my Brandon Blackwood bag that Devin uh, sent me three days straight. I really enjoyed using it.